this is the Provoke Prawn, and have you got a problem with your audio settings in Windows, where Windows Sound Settings keeps hijacking your audio source and changing your default sound settings to another device? If you have, then stick with me because I'm going to show you a solution to this. I often find that sometimes my devices switch and it tries to change the sound settings for Discord, but also just Windows sound settings. And this can be a real problem. Now, I noticed this the other day when I was trying to record some gameplay sessions for my other channel. And I found that Windows had swapped settings, but I hadn't realized OBS still showed audio was recording. But what happened was it was just capturing my mic and not the gameplay sound, which is obviously not ideal and rather frustrating because I lost a whole weekend worth of gameplay. Now, obviously, I have a lot of devices in Windows sound settings. You may not have this many, but it could be even if you've only got a couple or a few that is still trying to change sound settings without you wanting to. And this can be an issue if you've got multiple software installed, but sometimes Windows will do stupid things like trying to use your monitor as an audio output, even when your monitor doesn't have speakers. Especially if you've just updated your graphics drivers, this can happen quite often. It just switches to your monitor when you don't want it to. Now, I have a lot of things installed. I'm using the Rodecaster Pro 2 as my main audio source. That's then also tied in with other things like the SteelSeries Nova Pro Wireless, which is my main headset. That's two different devices and also obviously different softwares as well. And this can complicate things because Windows isn't sure which it wants to use as the default sound settings. And so it keeps trying to change things. You might not have this many things, but I'm still going to show you how you can quickly and easily fix this problem and stop it from happening. So first thing to do is to obviously right click on the speaker down the bottom here, click on sound settings and open up Windows sound settings. Now I've got loads of devices in here, but all we can do is you scroll down to the bottom. This is in Windows 11, but the logic's fairly similar. You basically need to access your main sound settings. So you can see more sound settings is an option here. This then pops up another window, which is more retro, but it still works in the same way. Now I know that I want to use the Rodecaster Pro 2, for example, as the main thing. I don't need Sonic sound, so I'm not using Steel Series Sonic sound. So you just go in and click disable on that. I'm also not going to use the Nova Pro wireless because the audio is being routed through Rodecaster. So I don't want that either. And I don't want my monitor. So get rid of any of these. So just click disable on anything that you don't want to use and that you know is not going to be in use. The other thing you can also do is you can right click on the main thing you do want to use. So Rodecaster Pro 2 main stereo is my speaker setup, for example, in playback. And go in here and set as default communication device. So that's important to do. And then obviously we've got other ones. We've got the head Rodecaster Pro 2 again, streaming microphone, I'm gonna disable that. I'm gonna disable this. Basically go through and disable anything that you're not going to be using. Now there will still be some things that you might well choose to use. I do, for example, have Razer speakers on here. So I've got the Leviathan V2 Pro, and I do still want that because I do want to sometimes be able to switch into the speaker mode. So you'd want to leave that there but we want to make sure that the main device that we want is set as the default communication device. Now you can do this same sort of logic with the microphone side of things as well. So if you've got a mic set up and you have your particular mic as the main device, then obviously you can also choose to set that as your main communication device as well and disable anything else that you won't be using. I don't want the streaming microphone, for example. And there are other mics that I've either connected up before or have the software installed for which are in here. Again, the Nova Pro Wireless is there, for example, but we can disable that and then it won't switch to those. And that makes life a lot more straightforward in terms of those sound settings. And it should hopefully help with your issues and fix any of these problems. Obviously, if you need to at some point, if you want to change to them, you can always go back in and then just click to enable. So you can re-enable these. You may well find with the monitor one that every time you install your graphics card, this gets re-enabled and you'll find it reappearing. So your monitor becomes an issue. So if you do update your graphics drivers, especially if you do a clean install, you might well need to disable the monitor again if you're not ever planning on using your monitor speakers. But hopefully this will sort your issues out. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend, you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.